Welcome to our basic pelvic floor exercise class. I'm a physiotherapist who specialises in pelvic floor training and a Pilates instructor. So I've chosen some exercises today for somebody who wants to focus on getting their pelvic floor to be stronger, last longer and better at helping to control their bladder in their everyday life. So first we're going to find and feel our pelvic floor and try some tricks to make it more obvious whether you're in the right place because the biggest problem with pelvic floor is you can't see it and you can't even touch it very easily. And then we're going to do the classic exercises that you find in booklets and in apps and make sure that we've got really good technique. And then the challenge is going to be the way you have to use your pelvic floor in everyday life. So you have to be able to breathe and move and hold your pelvic floor all at the same time. So we'll, we'll warm up to that one. But first, we're going to find and feel everything. So let's think beautiful posture. So if you spread your feet out and think big toe, baby toe, heel, let your weight drift forward onto your big toe, baby toe, and then back onto your heel. And again, coming forward, big toe, baby toe, back onto your heels, and then settle your weight right in the middle of your feet so that you're sharing out between the big toe, baby toe and heels. Now let the floor push you taller so that you stretch up through your calves, tighten your knees and then soften them and then come up round the middle and think about the pelvis. And I'm going to ask you to put your hands where you think your bladder is. Yeah, good shot. So the bladder is really low just behind the pubic bone at the front. And because the bladder is here and everybody knows their bladder's here, you would think that these muscles here were what controlled the bladder. But these are abdominal muscles mm. and they are really important because they do lift the bladder from the front and they support our backs, mm -hmm. but they're not the main control mechanism. Mm -hmm. But they do matter and we can touch them and we can see them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start here. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to feel is the difference between on and off. Mm -hmm. So let them hang out, do your worst, let them go. <laughs> now, if you breathe in, they'll swell up a bit. And then as you breathe out, can you draw your lower tummy in towards you and hold it there, but make sure you can still breathe. And you won't feel like you're doing much, but if you let go now, it's going to fall out. <laughs> yeah. So do you see how obvious that is? Yeah. And these are our abdominal muscles. So if we do breathe in, let them swell a bit. As you breathe out, draw the abdominals in towards you and they will lift the bladder from the front and they'll definitely support your back, which is going to be really important if you're carrying things. Yeah. And this is part of lovely posture and it really matters that these are not your pelvic floor muscles. So let them go, let them fall out. Right. Now we have another set of muscles, very similar shape and size, big, but underneath. Yeah. And the place where people naturally think they are mm -hmm. is where the bladder might leak, at the end of the bladder tube. Mm -hmm. So if I said to you, tighten your pelvic floor, mm -hmm. would you know to think underneath? Yes. And think about trying to stop where a wee would come out? Yeah. yeah? Have a go. Yes. And then let go. And sometimes you don't realise you've actually squeezed them till you let go. So you think you haven't done much, but when you let go, you think, oh yeah. Right? And if you do that again, squeeze at the front, lifting as if you're trying to stop a wee, and then let go. Yeah. Now, did you know there's a back part to the pelvic floor as well? Yeah. So if you turn your toes just a little bit more out, like a ballet dancer, and imagine that you have bad wind, mm. and you have to tighten around the back passage. <laughs> mm. Can you feel that you can tighten, not quite separately, but nearly separately at the back? And then when you let go, it falls away. Mm -hmm. And everybody thinks that this is just for bowels or wing control, but when you tighten at the back there, that's a big part of the pelvic floor too. Mm -hmm. And let go. So try squeezing at the back there one more time, and it kind of shouldn't show on your face, <laughs> other than it's more for entertainment. <laughs> and let go. So we had a front bit round the bladder opening, mm -hmm. a back bit round the bowel opening. Now, if you put your feet like you would normally stand, mm -hmm. if we say tighten your pelvic floor, these days what we mean is tighten the back and the front together. Mm -hmm. And then when you let go, it should feel a little bit more dramatic, like a bit more happens. Mm -hmm. So try tightening at the back. It's a sort of lift and squeeze at the front. Mm -hmm and then let them both go. Mm -hmm. And still soft knees, 
tighten at the back, lift at the front, let them both go. And you might notice that your tummy wants to join in. Yeah, yeah and mine that's, does a Can bit. you feel that? Yeah. And that's perfectly all right. Yeah. In the past, we used to say, no tummy, no buttocks, no legs. And that's still true. Yeah. We don't want squeezing bottoms. We don't want shoulders. Mm -hmm. But actually, this bit of tummy joining in, you can feel it's a natural thing. Mm -hmm. And it all helps to lift and support the bladder. So the whole package, when you're looking for your pelvic floor, is squeeze at the back like you're stopping wind, lift at the front like you're trying to stop a wee and lift the vagina up inside, and some tummy coming in from the front for support. And then you sometimes don't feel like you've done it, but when you let go, it, you can feel it all fall out. <laughs> and then you realize life's a little vulnerable if it's all hanging around. Happy with that idea? Yeah.